Okay, everybody, I'm uh, doing a recording to show you guys how easy it is to write an application with Gamba. And uh, we're going to do a little bit of that, plus I'll show off a little bit of what it looks like with Compiz, Compiz, whatever. Show you a little bit of the... Uh, now I'm using an EECC 900 and we're going to do a quick uh, you can get an app you can do an app get Gamba 2 I believe or app get Gamba to get it I'm using the Ubuntu 810 that's the intrepid version and we're going to create a uh, now there's plenty of examples here it'll help you out but we're just going to create a, a new little project and just a simple graphical application. We're going to call it, uh, going to put it in my user directory, and we're just going to call it uh, My App. And I have a keyboard issue, so my keys keep doing that. Okay. going to create an application for it and fire it up. It's going to give you some tips until you get familiar with it. Uh, I'd recommend you look at the tips. Now, we uh, it comes preloaded with a little form here to work with. Now, if you've ever done any Visual Basic, this will be extremely easy for you to maneuver around. I wrote a uh, application uh, in only an hour, a graphical application that was really nice uh, for a serial port uh, for an accelerometer to capture data in. So, let's say we want a text box. Well, it's that simple. You just want to view the toolbox. Come over here, select a uh, text box. We're going to drag that text box into the form. Now we're going to take a button, we're going to uh, put that button right here, and that button's going to enter in some text. We're just going to double click on the button, so right click, and we're going to type text. And when you get to about the third character, it's going to pop up an uh, autocomplete for you and help you select you can cursor down to it, and there's some keystrokes that'll uh, help you out, make it easier for you to find things. And we're going to do a text. Text box dot text equals double quote hello world double quote. Now we're going to save this. And we're going to test it. Now, unlike, uh, occasionally these things will pop up on their own, but sometimes they end up in the taskbar. So if you see it down in the taskbar, now we have an application that's running. It has the default text in it. I'm going to move that over to a fresh uh, desktop area. And we're going to hit the toggle button. Hello world. So that's it. It's very simple. To, uh, to get started in. Uh, you can do quite a lot of stuff with Gambus, and uh, it's a great application to get started in programming, and it's simple, and if you've done any Visual Basic, it won't take you long to figure it out. So uh, You can also uh, make the executable or an archive or an installation package for distribution later. And of course it is uh, open source, uh, they do take donations, I'd recommend you do that if you enjoy it. We're just going to create this application, we're going to close down Gambus, we're going to fire up a uh, file browser, and we're going to go over to where we created it in the My App folder. I got a lot of junk over here. And we'll find 
there is the Gambus executable. You can double click on it, and voila, we have an application running, and it works, and it is about less than one kilobyte in size. And that's it for today. Bye. I think bye.